Well, the main task of the FITA panel is basically to assess the safety of the FITA additives. So all the additives that are included in the, um, in the animal's diet, they need to be uh, safe for the animals, but also for the people who are going to consume the food products from these animals, and also for the environment. Uh, the, the panel needs actually a wide range of expertise. The main expertise we need is animal nutrition, for instance, to, to assess the, the safety of the additives for the, for the animals. Also the efficacy, the, they are the main ones uh, who will assess the, the, the efficacy of the additives. We also have a lot of uh, products which are based on microorganisms, so we need also uh, expertise in, micro, in microbiology. And for instance, in this part, we need experts in uh, antimicrobial resistance as well, which is an, an important topic that we are discussing now. Yeah, and then to cover the safety for the consumers and for the users, we need also experts in toxicology, in the whole area of toxicology. So in the area of animal nutrition, we, we need experts that are familiar with the nutrition of, uh, for example, poultry, pigs, ruminants, but also fish, for example. And not only, we are dealing with pets as well. Then remember that we are assessing also additives for pets. Yes, that's true. Yeah, the field of toxicology is important basically for the assessment of the safety for the consumer but also for the safety for the user. And we need experts in general toxicology but also in other aspects, for example on mutagenicity, genotoxicity, also reproduction toxicity, neurotoxicity and several other fields. The panel does the, a, re a revision of the work already prepared by the working group members who are uh, teams of experts who get together to assess specific parts of dossier or even a full dossier in, in, some, in some areas. They do all the preparatory work and they prepare the draft opinions which then go to the panel for, uh, for final adoption. This is a very interesting work. It really focuses on, on uh, fields of expertise which need a lot of input from experts and then when it gets to the panel there is a, collect, a collective decision taken by the panel which then leads to a final opinion. There are many aspects that are very interesting in, uh, for uh, a member who, who uh, belongs to a, a panel of FIDA. They can widen their expertise and their knowledge. They can also learn from a, a multidisciplinary environment or a multidisciplinary also uh, way of thinking or way of, of, of assessing or discussing in interesting issues. There is a, multi, a multinational environment from which you can learn a lot of things as well. I think it's really challenging and it's quite interesting being part of this member, of the, being part of, the, of this team who will make a difference really in the, in the life and in the safety of, of uh, uh, citizens is very interesting. EFSA is offering a lot of training for the experts so there is always the possibility for learning not only from the colleagues with whom they share the panel but also from and let's say organized trainings uh, provided by EFSA. And there is something I think we should also add to what Rosella said before regarding the possibility or why it's interesting for a, a, an expert to be part of the panel. I think that the FITA panel is probably one of the panels with the highest number of opinions published. So and now that the opinions are published in the EFSA journal, which is it's indexed, indexed, I think they, they will get a lot of extra publications in their curriculum.